The mistake that I see white belts typically make is while they're drilling, focusing on details that are either not important, incorrect, which, you know, don't do that, or too many to think about while you're actually going to be doing the move. I'll use an example. Let's take the triangle, the standard triangle from closed guard. Someone could explain the triangle by starting with how to set up your grips. Maybe you just grab both wrists and simply you try to push one wrist in. Now, this is a lot of things, and you can honestly probably list off a bunch more details and more things that you can do to get the triangle. And then we talk about variations, right? That was just a standard example. There's Five different types of triangle and there's a bunch of different setups for all those triangles and there are variations upon variations and there are details that you can do that might be preferable in a certain situation or for a certain type of user and all of these things I'm talking about the white belts start get focused honestly everybody they get focused on and they get overwhelmed and tech and the problem is is technically these are correct details but the reality of what's happening while you're doing a move is you can only focus on one two three things at a time I try to focus on just one or two and you drill the moves enough times so that way you can check to see if it feels right rather than if you checked off every single detail that I spent the past however many minutes talking about. So when I'm doing a triangle, I, I, I don't think through all that. Sometimes I'll initiate it with, okay, grips, but mostly it's about, okay, this feels right, feels like ready, and go! And execute the triangle technique, which will involve multiple movements of my body, releasing my legs, locking them back in place, grabbing the grip, making the angle adjustments. All of these things are happening. And if you're drilling, you can take the time to break them down and understand this detail, that detail, that detail. But the overall goal of drilling should not be to mentally understand all of those details. It should be to get as many of them correct as you possibly can and get that pattern, that sequence down so you can feel it in your body and understand it with your muscle memory rather than trying to think about it cognitively. Really you want to focus on one to three key details. For the triangle, it is going to be probably how you enter into the triangle and set it up, although oftentimes the opportunity will simply present itself where they have one arm in, one arm out, you lock your legs. Then probably getting the correct angle and knowing how to apply submission pressure. And narrowing it down to the most important details, the three things that are making it happen, will make your life way easier. If you don't know what the most important details are, obviously you can just ask for assistance. I think you'll discover them as you roll. But usually they're going to involve posture, structure, and base. So you are getting good posture, making your opponent have bad posture, using your structure, so your bones, in a way that's advantageous to create some leverage, and base, meaning balance versus off balance. These are all general concepts, but the point of what I'm trying to say when it comes to drilling is you want to start with as many of the correct details as you can. You're probably not gonna be able to remember all of them and you shouldn't. But the goal is to get the feeling of the move down so that way you can focus on the big three things that matter, which are gonna be positioning or how you're applying pressure or leverage, whatever you think is the most important detail for your technique. You wanna free up that mental space by allowing yourself to go, yeah, this feels right, or no, this, this doesn't feel right. And you can do that in a real match. You can do that much faster in a real match, judging how it feels to perform the move, rather than going through and thinking about all the possible things that go through. And let's transition now into what you should be thinking about when you're sparring. Because when you're drilling, you always have the luxury of stopping, breaking it down, and talking about all of those things. And it is possible to go through all of those details and figure them out. But when the rubber hits the road, when you're in a live match, you don't have that luxury. What do I mean by this? When you are in the middle of doing an attack or an escape in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, there are a lot of things you can focus on, a lot of details that are correct, but 
in your mind, in your mental space, while you're in a match, you really only have the ability to focus on kind of one big thing at a time. Occasionally you can get two or three things that you're thinking about, but staying focused on one main goal, such as where to position your hips, how to get on top, how to initiate your grips to set up your attack, how to position your weight. You can pick whatever you want to focus on, but really you can kind of only focus on one thing at a time. So when white belts are sparring, oftentimes they don't have the muscle memory built so that way they can reference a feeling in their mind of like, okay, this escape, yeah, it feels like now's the time to do it. And it feels like now's the time to do it because you've drilled it enough times where someone is in that specific position, maybe their hips are forward, maybe they have their weight configured in a specific way. However it may be, certain moves are going to work at better times than others, and you learn that through trial and error, through drilling, and you want to be able to reference that internal feeling, that muscle memory, the quick, ah yeah, that feels right, or mm, that doesn't feel right. Instead of trying to think about, okay, when coach showed this move, there were top 20 list of details that are all correct and all things that will help me make this happen, but can't really focus on all of them at once. So really what you want to do is get the important details down, get your muscle memory ingrained so that way you can just quickly reference, okay, feels right, doesn't feel right, then focus on the most important details for making the technique happen. Stay narrowly focused and then opportunities will present themselves that will allow you to think about a couple other things and that will make it seem like you're much more advanced because you'll just be able to remember those muscle memory moves, ingrain it, and think, okay, focus on detail one, two, and three, get it done. Then when you're in the middle of being in a good position and you don't have to focus on a whole bunch of other things, you might be able to think, oh, okay, he's acting in this way, so if I counter him like this, a high chance of working. So narrowing your focus to only the important details and trying to reference muscle memory as opposed to cognitive memory, it'll free up your mental space to come up with moves out of left field, to plan a little bit, to strategize a little bit. It just takes a little bit more time and a little bit more focus so you're not so overwhelmed. Simplify. That is how you actually get to complicated jiu-jitsu because if it's simple, then you don't have a lot to think about. But it's complicated because you have that muscle memory going and you have patterns already drilled into your muscle memory. That's all I got for you today. Peace.